Hi everyone, welcome to our webinar, Boost Your Bookings with JotForm and Integromat. Today's presenters are gonna be myself, Annabelle from JotForm and Arpit from Integromat. So in today's webinar, we're gonna talk about JotForm and Integromat and how these two powerful apps come together to optimize workflow. We're gonna go into the importance of workflow automation and we're also gonna talk about a use case, which will be a hotel booking and show you how to build a JotForm form from scratch and then use that data that you've collected to integrate that with an Integromat workflow automation so that all of your work is optimized and it's uh, super easy to do. Uh, lastly, we'll go into a 10 minute live Q&A session. So for those of you who don't know, JotForm is the easiest online form builder on the market. It provides a really strategic approach to form creation and it gives any size company a really easy to use intelligent data collection tool. JotForm has been around since 2006 and it's trusted by more than 4 million users. So it's a reputable brand and also a gateway to successful customer relationships and increased sales. Integromat is one of the most advanced workflow automation tools that, le that lets you connect anything and automate everything. It's unlike other tools that restrict you to linear integrations because Integromat lets you play with the data and create complex integrations with multiple routes using powerful inbuilt tools. So just to touch on the importance of workflow automation, there's a few key points that really stick out. So firstly, it saves time and money. It also increases productivity, it provides actionable data, it reduces human error, and it also improves efficiency and reduces stress, which makes life a whole lot easier, especially when you have a ton of work to do. Okay, so we're gonna go into our use case, which is hotel booking. And I am going to show you how to build a hotel booking form with JotForm. So as you can see, I'm in my JotForm account and I have the option on the left-hand side to create a form. So I click this button and two options come up. So the first is a classic form, which you're probably more familiar with. And this is a form that shows all questions on one page. So JotForm has a new form format called JotForm Cards. And this is the option on the right-hand side, which essentially will show one question per screen so that respondents can really focus on what's being asked. JotForm Cards also has a suite of new features, uh, such as a progress bar, which will show you how far you are going along your questionnaire. It also has emojis and icons that you can make your form really engaging. So for today's demo, I'm gonna choose JotForm Cards. So I just press create a form. And then for this demo, I'm going to show you how to do a blank form so that we can build it from scratch. But if you're in a pinch for time, you could also use a template. We have over 10,000 to choose from. You could also request a form to be built for you, or you could also import a form. So there are lots of options just depending on what your needs are. So I'm gonna come here to my blank form. I'm gonna press create, and then I'm going to label this hotel booking. Create. Okay, so now I am in the JotForm cards form. So this is a totally blank form. So I'm gonna come over to the left-hand side and I'm gonna start adding some form fields to this. So I press the plus button and as you can see, there are a ton of different form fields I can choose from. So let me think. So for hotel booking, yeah, a name would be great. So I can get their first and last name. I can also get an email. Um, let's see, probably would wanna know the number of guests. So I'll grab that. And I'm just gonna change this number of guests. Great, so now we have number of guests and now I'm going to add in the arrival date and the departure date. So we'll do one here and we'll do one here. So we'll do arrival. And then we'll do And then we'll do departure. Cool. And then we'll grab a phone number just in case of emergencies, you never know. And then we'll also do a long text entry just in case anybody has any special requests. Awesome. And then if I wanted to, I could also change the alignment of the 
the text as well um, if I liked it. I kind of like it in the center, so I think I'll keep that. Okay, cool. So now that the form is built, you can see it looks really nice. But you know, I kind of want to customize it a little bit more. So I can come over to the right hand side here, which is our form designer. And I have a ton of different color options that I can choose from. All these are very stylish and go nicely together. So I have this to choose from. If I wanted to, I could also come over here to the image section and I could add an image to the background, which would make the form even more engaging. Uh, we have a ton of different pre-made images that you could choose, or if you want, you can even upload a custom image yourself. Besides the image, we also have a video feature too. So if you wanted to create some uh, an interactive background, you could also include a video that we have uh, pre-made videos and we also have the ability to upload a custom video as well. So I'm gonna come back here. I'm just gonna keep it simple today. And I am going to choose, let me see. I'm going to choose the purple and teal. I really like purple and teal. I'm gonna come back here also too and just um, edit my welcome page so that it's very clear. Welcome to my hotel booking form. Perfect. And then I'm going to publish it open it in a new tab and voila here's my form so as you can see it looks really good there's a progress bar underneath which will show you the progression of the of your questionnaire awesome so I'm going to come back here um, so next our pit from and Tigger Matt is going to show you how to use this form that we just created to create a useful scenario using Integro Matt all right thanks Annabelle Hey guys, I'm Arpit and I'm the Community Specialist here at Integromat. Really glad to have you guys on board today. Thanks for joining us. So uh, I'm going to show you a really cool integration using the hotel booking form that Annabelle just created earlier today. I'm on the template section of our website and when you go here, you'll see a whole lot of templates and then you can filter down using an app. So I've already filtered it down to JotForm and these are the various templates that we've got here. And the one we're going to use today is this one right here. It's called when the JotForm is submitted create an invoice on Invoice Ninja and add a subscriber to a MailChimp list. So essentially, this is one scenario that lets you do all of that. Um, and this is the template wizard that you see here. And the great thing about the template wizard is that it guides you step by step uh, as to how to set up a scenario. So you don't really need to um, rack your brains. You know, you just need to follow the steps. So to begin, just click on this button, create new scenario from template. And the first step is to select an organization. So if you're part of multiple organizations on Integromat, you'll have to select one. And step two is to select a JotForm webhook. So once you connect your JotForm account and connect your uh, form um, and add it as a webhook, you'll see it here. So I've got one here. I've got uh, the hotel booking form already connected. I click continue. The next step is, is the room nights calculator. So this, this is an in, inbuilt tool that Integromat offers and it's really, really useful. It's called set variable and, and it essentially lets you um, define a variable and assign a value to it. So I've, I've, I've called it room nights and um, we select one cycle so that every time the scenario runs, it receives fresh data. And the variable value is basically set by this formula, which calculates the number of days between two date entries. So I've got the departure date and the arrival date that we, that we get from the jot form. And using this formula, I have I've calculated the number of days. You don't really need to worry about knowing how this works because when you use the template, um, you'll already see the formula there. And if you'd like to learn more as to how to use the function, the, uh, the inbuilt function such as format date, etc., you can visit uh, the help center and you'll see a whole lot of information about using functions. So we click continue and the next module is the add new client module from Invoice Ninja. So on Invoice Ninja, before you create an invoice, you need to add a new client. And to do so, we, we use this module and your Invoice Ninja account has to be connected here. You, uh, you name the client. So I'm naming the client uh, using the attributes, first name and last name from the JOT form, um, the phone number and the contact email address. And we click continue and the next module is the create invoice module from invoice ninja and here we'll, we'll basically be creating the invoice the actual invoice using the client id that we get from the previous module so the, the, this invoice will be mapped to the client that we just created in the previous module 
so that's the client id and the date created uh, for, for date created i've used, used this formula again using the format date function and um, using the now variable which fetches the current date and time and formatting it to this particular format you can obviously change this format but you'll have to make the relevant change in your invoice ninja account otherwise you'll see an error and then the due date is basically something that, that you can set up um, i've added seven days to the current date using the add days function right here so the due date will automatically be seven days from now from today and then the the line item for the invoice so um, you've got a name and the amount and the quantity the name is basically uh, booking from this the arrival date to to the departure date the amount is is the unit cost and quantity is the room nice that we fetch from the module set variable and you hit save and that's it you click continue and then the last step is the uh, MailChimp module wherein the subscriber is added to a MailChimp list. Again, your MailChimp, uh, MailChimp account has to be connected and um, you select a list to which you'd want to add the subscriber. So I've selected my hotel bookings. I've mapped the first name, last name, phone number um, and the email address, of course. And then under status, you can select subscribed, unsubscribed or pending. Um, if you if you select subscribe the user will automatically get subscribed to that list and if you select pending uh, you allow the user to double opt-in so MailChimp will send them an email asking them to confirm their subscription and you click continue and that's it the template is ready to go now to test our scenario we, we need to click on run once to make sure everything is set up fine and then we need to trigger our webhook uh, by submitting the jot form so I'm going to click on run once I'm going to head over to, to the jot form my hotel booking form and I'm going to quickly submit it. I've got information pre-filled here. My name, email address, uh, number of guests, arrival date, departure date, phone number, and special requests. I don't have any. And once you click submit, you can go back to the scenario here and you'll see the scenario execute itself right now. Okay. Okay. So you, yeah. So there you go. The scenario just executed itself, and you've got one, two, three, four, five operations have been consumed in the scenario. Um, the jot form got triggered. The number of room nights got calculated. The client got added. The invoice got created, and um, the client got added to the Mailchimp list. So yeah, that was that. wasn't so hard, right? Um, great so so now we're going to show you how to make this scenario even more powerful so i've got the scenario pre-made here don't get intimidated it's really simple we've already got these five steps um hooked up you know now i've, got, I've added some some additional modules to the scenario to make it even more powerful so i've got the download an invoice module from invoice ninja and what this does is it actually downloads the invoice pdf um that that was created um so you just need to map the invoice id and it'll download the invoice pdf from invoice ninja and then i've used the compose the string tool um this basically helps you just create a string which you can use um in a subsequent module um do note that i've used line breaks here because line breaks are supported by the email module they're not supported by the compose the string module and then I'm basically sending an email. I'm, I'm sending a personalized email from my own email address to, to the client uh, who just submitted the hotel booking form. And the good thing is that um, I'll, I'll be able to attach the invoice PDF that, that just created here. So I've got my account linked here, all the basic settings that you'll see. Um, you, you map the email address un under the to field. Um, you add a subject content of your email you can use html tags here the attachment so to add an attachment you just need to click here and uh, in this case we'll we just need to map the pdf attribute which we get from the download and invoice module and you can name your invoice of course all right we save that okay and additionally, um, here we already had the MailChimp module. I've added uh, an error handler to it. 
So what this does is if, if, if um, a client already exists in your MailChimp list, so if essentially if the same client submits your form twice, uh, MailChimp will throw up an error saying that the client exists in this list. So using a, an error handler, I'm, I'm ignoring that error. So technically I'm not ignoring that error, I'm resuming the module from, from where the error occurred. So using this error handler, essentially um, if, if you have subsequent modules uh, after the MailChimp module, they will continue to work without throwing up an error. And I've added a data stores module here. So a data store is, is an inbuilt feature of Integromat and it's, it's like a Google Sheet but more powerful. It's a database service um, within Integromat. And so in my data store, I'm, I'm storing all the information, all the submission from, from the hotel booking form. Um, and then I'm, I can use this information um, in, in, in scenarios, in, in my future scenarios. So um, to set up a data store, you need to first create a data store. Uh, I've already created mine and then you can you just need to map the fields so I've got the first name last name email phone start date end date um, you can obviously customize all of that when you set up a data store so yeah all right now we're going to run this scenario once by clicking on run once here and resubmitting the form so I'm going to quickly submit the form with the same information And I'm going to head back to the scenario to see it in action. And there you go, it's getting executed, invoice is getting downloaded, the email is being sent, and everything else. And if you see, there's no error from MailChimp because uh, of the error handler. Since that same email address was submitted, I, um, there would have been an error, but there isn't one. Um, the data has been stored in, in a data store, and everything else that was supposed to happen has happened. And if you, if you head over to invoice ninja and we um, just refresh the page the invoices page we'll be able to see the new invoice um, that was just created so if you see this is the new invoice and to have a look we just click here on the invoice number and if you see um, that's the invoice that has been created and if you just scroll down you'll be able to actually have a look at the invoice and there you go booking from the start date end date unit cost quantity and that's the invoice all right so thanks for joining us i hope you guys learned a thing or two uh, if you have any questions um, please feel free to start asking now i'm going to hand over to annabelle and we're going to take uh, a few questions from you guys and i'm also going to leave some uh, links in, in the chat for you guys to to go over um, all right uh, thanks again for joining us have a great day ahead Thanks, Arpit. So for those of you watching the recording, our webinar is going to end now. We hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of your week. If you guys have any job form specific questions, please feel free to email our support team at support at jotform.com. Okay, uh, thanks. And if you have any Integromat specific questions, you can email uh, on support at integromat.com. Thank thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.